the exploration outer space. The sun is 93 million miles away, but it can still impact our planet through solar wind, which sends a stream of electrically charged particles our way. Now, if that solar wind is powerful enough, it can actually disable satellites. But more often than not, those charged particles simply create a beautiful display of light in our upper atmosphere. It can be just where you're looking up at the sky going, oh my gosh, that's the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. And there's green and there's pink and it's moving faster than your eye can see and you're just, it's really amazing. It's not just light, it's actually particles, what we call plasma, high energy electrons from space. And when they hit the Earth's upper atmosphere, which is like the air that we breathe, it causes light to be emitted. This phenomenon, where solar particles interact with our atmospheric gases, is called an aurora. Up north, they call it the Northern Lights. So what does all of this have to do with citizen science? Well, since observing an aurora from the ground is currently the best way to gather data on this event, it's really an ideal project for the public. If enough people report what they see, then we can create a real-time map of the auroras. This project is based at NASA's Goddard Space Flight Center, and they call it Aurorasaurus. The idea came to me actually with Twitter. There was a storm, and I did not know what Twitter was, and I got on there, and I searched Northern Lights, and I saw that people were actually reporting. And I thought, wow, that's a new source of data, and we need to put those observations on a map. We have seen tweets from Nome, Alaska. Liz shows me a recent map of an aurora composed from the data supplied by witnesses. And some of the information came via tweets. All of these little tweets, these are people that have said that they've witnessed the aurora? Yeah, this one is from a TV anchor in Michigan, I believe. And they actually submit a photo. Yeah. Cool. And some of that data is collected by people filling out a form on the Aurorasaurus website. So what we call positive sightings are that someone has actually gone to the website and said, did you see the aurora? And they have filled out this form, and those forms ask your location, what time your observation was, what colors you saw, and in that way we can make better models. This is truly a project where actions by citizens provide an invaluable source of scientific data. You can see high resolution better from the ground. And actually, the people who are participating are expert aurora watchers. They're much better than most of the scientists who are looking at the data from satellites. They really know what it looks like and what it's doing on a given night. You're watching Exploration Outer Space on Exploration Station.